sitting in the dark can be lonely. Sitting in the dark can, can be pretty scary. Sitting in the dark can feel as though we're going to just implode, as though the pressure of the darkness will simply and may so ever powerfully push us into a single place as though we become nothing. The ancients, those who lived in ages past before there was such a thing as electricity, at night, on a dark night like this, they would go outside and they couldn't see beyond the tip of their nose if they wanted to, if the fire wasn't still lit, or maybe on those clear nights they could see the stars of the sky as God walked with Abraham and said to him, count them if you can, count them. They knew physically what we can only imagine metaphorically. We can barely find a place on this earth today where we can have no human-generated light so that all we would see are the stars in the sky or the nothingness beyond our face. But the difference is we can come back. We can come back to, quote, civilization, right? We can come back to where we can flip on a switch and let there be light. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. At that time of that formless void in Genesis, at that time before time, God was. The Word was. They could never be separated in all of time. And as that breeze went over that formless void and began to create the earth as we know today, the Word was as the Word still is. For nothing came into being without the Word. The Word always was and is and will be. And those ancients, those from long ago, kept looking for that light in that darkness. They kept trying to see what can be there, what's there, because there must be something more. There must be something by which we can see. And the Word was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light that shone in the darkness, in those dark nights that those ancients knew physically, they also knew as we know. Sitting in that darkness of loneliness, that darkness of fear, that darkness of grasping for something that we might hope to be there, whether it is or it isn't. Out of the darkness, light shines. 
out of that place of fear, out of that place of loneliness, out of this time and place, the light shines. And the darkness, the darkness did not overcome the light. It never can. And it never will. The Psalms are filled with images of the darkness, the images of the faithful journey with God and the faithful journey as a human trying to find light in the midst of a dark, dark world. Psalm 139, one of my favorites, speaks of the light of God. Speaks of the fear and speaks of the presence of God. If I say, the psalmist says, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Sounds pretty modern to me. Sounds pretty personal. But he continues. He says, darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light are both alike. Where can we go from your spirit? The psalmist continues, where can we flee from you? Nowhere, the light says, the word the word of life. In this Christmas season, in this time that we celebrate the birth, the birth of this one we call the word, the light that shines in this little room on this night, in this season of darkness, this season of light, comes alive. In the light of that little baby, that little baby born, humbly, just like us, the light of God shone, and the darkness will never, will never overcome the light of God. Amen.